Internal combustion has zero chance. It is game over. I have never, ever been more confident than I am at this moment in time to tell you the petrol or gasoline and diesel, it is game over. By 2030, maybe sooner than that, legacy automakers will be in big trouble. They'll either be bankrupt or thanks to this technology, they will be a shadow of themselves. This is a new dawn. It's a new era. Geely is one of the largest automotive companies in the world. They have some incredibly impressive products. They have the Zika 001. It's essentially a Tesla Plaid, but it's insane. They have many different electric car companies and they have some of the best technology in the world, but they have just revealed lithium ion phosphate batteries that are utterly groundbreaking. If Geely's claims are true, and I suspect they probably are, considering Geely doesn't generally exaggerate anything, then they have the greatest battery technology ever invented in the history of mankind. And I haven't, I don't know how else to put this because it's actually true. Their claims are insane. They just revealed their new lithium ion phosphate Insano batteries. I'm going to just call them Insano because they're utterly ludicrously good. I mean, if this is the future of electric cars, Gasoline internal combustion just has no chance. It, it literally will not survive. If Geely can ramp production at a fast pace, its, com its competition is in big trouble. And I'm even talking about BYD and CATL. How do you compete with this level of technology? It's blowing my mind. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And I, I, I'm, I'm sort of struggling. I'm a little bit too excited to make a video. I'm I'm just on a bit of a buzz after reading about this new battery technology. I'll try to stick to the facts as closely as possible. Geely have revealed their new lithium ion phosphate batteries. They call them 800 volt golden batteries. They can charge 500 kilometers. Um, I mean, obviously this is meaningless, but anyway, they can charge say 500 kilometers in a mid-sized sedan in 15 minutes. 15 minutes, that's very fast. However, they can withstand 1000 degrees Celsius temperatures. There has never been a battery that I know of in the history of mankind that uses lithium or that is lithium ion phosphate that can handle 1000 degree Celsius temperatures. But that's not all. There's actually much more to these batteries. Zika and obviously Geely, Zika, the same thing. Geely is the parent company. Zika is the EV company. They have begun selling electric cars in Europe just last week. And they have launched their self-developed lithium ion phosphate accumulators called Golden Brick Battery during the Zika Power Day. The company claims the battery is incredibly safe, showcasing extreme testing during which the battery was held for 48 hours in minus 45 degrees Celsius extreme temperatures. That is extremely cold. That's the kind of temperatures that you see in a storm on Mount Everest, minus 45 degrees Celsius then thrown into a 1000 degree Celsius fire. 1000 degree Celsius fire. Then they put them back in the car. There's nothing wrong with them. They put the batteries, like this same battery pack in minus 45 degrees Celsius for two days. They then put that same battery pack in a fire that is 1000 degrees Celsius, put them back in the car, still work. Uh, this sounds solid state batteries, could be dead in the water. These batteries are utterly mind blowing. And here's the thing. This is an electric car company saying, we're putting these batteries in our cars. This is not some theoretical uh, university or um, college or research laboratory saying, hey, look at this new technology we've got, it's amazing. This is actually commercially viable. The golden battery started mass production today. Yeah, this is unbelievable. The first vehicle to have them will be the 007. It's coming out in two weeks. It's literally out on the 27th of December. So I don't know how they've kept this secret, but this is utterly incredible. Ultra fast charging lithium ion phosphate batteries do not exist. I mean, this is the first time they've ever, they've ever been brought to light. CHL are working on their condenser battery. That's said to have similar charging, but it hasn't been revealed yet. CHL's new Chirin battery can charge pretty quickly, but nowhere near as fast as these. The battery has 83.7% volume utilization at the pack level, 
thanks to an optimized compact sandwich structure, which is significantly high. Everyone else is sitting at about the 60 to 70% number. 83.7% at the pack level is amazing. It has ultra thin separators with a sandwich structure and an integrated tray design. The peak charging power, 500 kilowatt. 500 kilowatt fast charging LFP batteries that won't catch fire and handle extreme cold. Wow. I mean, maximum charge rate, 4.5C, 500 kilowatt. Okay, between 10% to 80%, the battery, depending on the size of it, can charge in 15 minutes. You can, you can get 500 kilometers of range because these are fairly high energy density in 15 minutes of fast charging. Now, here is the challenge. There is no fast chargers outside of China that can charge at these speeds. There will be in the future, but they don't yet exist. The fastest chargers, are, I mean, Tesla started to install level four, it's version four fast chargers, which can theoretically charge at 350 kilowatt speeds. There's a few 350 kilowatt chargers. In China, there's about, I think about 30, 500 kilowatt chargers, but outside of China, they don't exist. Minus 10 degrees Celsius, the fast charging speed increases by 25%. I don't believe, I believe that's, Actually, I'm telling you the right thing here. At minus 10 degrees Celsius, the fast charging speed increases by 25%. Fast charging speed always goes down enormously at those temperatures in the real world for lithium ion phosphate, but for any batteries, it goes down significantly. But they're saying there's increases by a staggering 25%. They're capable of 16C short burst discharge in three seconds. They actually sound better in uh, than theoretical solid state batteries that don't yet haven't yet been mass manufactured. What else do we know about them? Well, the body is covered with 4,000 volt, high voltage resistant gold colored insulation film. This increases resistance by 27%, says Car News China. Zika actually provided a comparison chart of how the best batteries in the world, which all in China, of course, how fast their batteries can charge and it showed its charging speeds are faster than anyone else in China and of course anyone else in the world. So what about Zika's charging network? Well Zika actually operates 401 fast charging stations with 2,261 charging poles each with a power of at least 360 kilowatt. Some of them faster than that. That's in China. In 2024 Zika will have 1,000 charging stations. By 2026, the company wants to have 10,000 charging poles or individual charging points. In addition to that, Zika have unveiled a version three 800 kilowatt fast charge. The only way you can charge this battery though at 800 kilowatt is by uh, charging it when it's minus 10 degrees Celsius. So you need to install them in some pretty unusual places. But Zika is not saying that. Zika is saying, you know what? There's going to be other vehicles that can charge at that speed. We're going to have, we're going to improve this technology and these charges won't be obsolete. Once we do, once we have version two of this battery, which will be able to charge at those speeds, then our chargers will be capable of still handling that, which is a really good idea. The company already produces a version two 600 kilowatt liquid cooled fast charger. That was unveiled in September. That can add 300 kilometers of range in three minutes, says Zika. Both fast chargers are manufactured by GLE subsidiary VREMT and have a Zika badge. So all of this is manufactured under the Zika umbrella. Zika's new electric car, it's essentially an electric sedan, a similar size to a Tesla Model S. It'll come with a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. And everyone was thinking when Zika said that it would have a range of 870 kilometers, that Zika was exaggerating. Well, it seems they weren't. The new 007 will have a 100 kilowatt hour battery, lithium ion phosphate battery, which is better, of course, in terms of longevity and dealing with hot temperatures. Uh, it'll have 870 kilometers of range, and I believe it'll be using these batteries. On the 27th of December, we'll start to see electric cars rolling out of Geely's factory with the most impressive technology commercially manufactured anywhere in the world. This is the start of a new era in human history. This is, a new, this is a new era in human civilization. Never before have I seen batteries anywhere near this impressive that are commercially manufactured or in electric cars. 
Just think about it this way. Zika is selling EVs in Europe now. They had to build EVs with these batteries in them. There is a chance that within 12 months, you could be able to own an EV with this technology. Within five years, it'll be ubiquitous. You still really think gasoline powered cars, petrol powered cars, or diesel powered cars have a snowball's chance in hell of competing with this kind of technology? I don't think so.